In tonight's Maple Leafs Bruins game, right at the end of the second period, Michael Bunting went absolutely ballistic. Bunting in front of the Bruins net appears to get a glove in the face from Brandon Carlo that appears to then push his visor up into his nose, leading to a cut. And yeah, man was pissed. Now we've seen a few Bunting clips throughout this season, but this one especially was about as mad as you're ever going to see a guy. Now at this point in the game, it was 2-1 to one for Boston, and I can see why he was upset. He got cut, he's clearly bleeding and he's hoping for a huge power play to start the third and tie this thing up. But let's take a look at how we got here. Now the first had plenty of opportunities but ultimately no goals so all of the scoring came in the second and third. After a bad break for the Leafs turns the puck over and shorthanded Forbort starts the scoring as Coyle in the Leafs end feeds Forbort and he scores. Nearing the midway point of the game on the power play on a three on one Toronto answers back as Marner keeps it and he scores. Then just three minutes later the Bruins in the Leafs end cycle it, lend home to Carlo and he gets to be second of the night as they beat an exhausted line in the Maple Leafs. That was all for the second and again that's where we we saw Bunting get so upset right at the buzzer, but that gets us over to the start of the third. A nice breakout for the Brooms. Kempf reaches in, loses his stick, and Greer scores to put him up by a pair on a beautiful, patient goal for Greer here. Recognizing he's got all the time in the world, he just rips it home. But returning the favor, the Leafs set up in the Bruins end. Giordano sends it to the front of the net, and they score as Clifton, knocking down the pass, gives it right to Yarncroke, and he gets the Leafs back to within a goal. Before they could even finish announcing the goal, though, the Bruins come right back, and Zaka rips one from far range and scores his 10th of the year, beating Samson. And only three minutes later, Pasternak forces a turnover in the Leafs' end, Krejci to Zaka, and again, for his 11th of the year and second of the game, Zaka scores again. That would be all the scoring for this game, and the Bruins take it 5 to two. Now coming into this one, the Bruins had lost three in a row, so this was a pretty big one for them going into the All-Star break. That's all for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.